What I desire During the reign of King Akbar lived a miser He lived in a small hut made of mud and straw One day a fire broke out in his hut Fire fire help somebody help my hut is on fire Hearing the cries the villagers came with buckets of water They tried their best to control the flames but the fire kept burning The miser started crying loudly Why are you crying so hard? After all, it is just a straw hut. Oh sir, you do not know. In that hut I have my life savings. There is a box full of gems and gold coins buried in the corner near the stove. Don't worry. I will go in and get the box for you. But you should promise me that after I get the box, I will give you what I desire and the rest will be mine. Okay, okay. I promise. Now rush before it is too late. The goldsmith jumped into the leaping flame to get the box. Soon he came out with the box and minor burns on his hands. Thank you so much. The miser went to take the box. Hold on. I said I would give you what I desire. Here, I desire to give you this box. The gems and gold coins are mine. The goldsmith handed the miser an empty box. Hey, that's cheating. I agree that you help me out. For that you can take half of my savings. No, I will not agree. A promise is a promise. I said what I desire. The argument continued for some time. At last, they decided to go to Birbal for justice. Birbal listened to their problem. Hmm. Okay, goldsmith. What do you desire? Pat came the reply. The gems and the coins, sir. As per your promise, the gems and the gold coins belong to the miser. as you had promised to give him what you desire the goldsmith realized that birbal had played with his own words and there was nothing he could do about it the miser thanked birbal for getting his savings back and left with a big smile on his face